I'm Susie Taylor bringing you a summary of the HR and recruitment headlines for the last month. A survey carried out by Mumsnet has shown that 60% of mothers felt less employable after having a child and 3 out of 4 found it difficult to progress with their careers after maternity leave. The Deputy Prime Minister, Nick Clegg, has said that we need to dramatically update our working practices to accommodate women after pregnancy. A new study has found that those who were bullied in their younger years are more likely to earn less in adulthood. The extensive study conducted by Anglian Ruskin University found that on average victims of bullying earn on average more than 2% less than the average wage. The study also revealed that they are more than 18% less likely to have a higher education. Speaking of higher education, the UK Secret Services are set to recruit 100 A-level school leavers on a two-year apprenticeship next year. The successful candidates will gain insight into cyber threats, terrorism, espionage and organised crime. There is sure to be fierce competition, however applicants have been warned not to publicise their interest for obvious security reasons. And staying with graduate recruitment, TalentQ, an assessment specialist, has found that half of UK graduates are disappointed with their recruitment experience, revealing four major pains. Communication and feedback, long drawn out selection processes, rude or unprepared interviewers and inaccurate job descriptions. Now we all know social media can be a clever marketing tool, but what about when it goes wrong? JP Morgan has announced that they will be pulling out of their Twitter Q&A after their hashtag was hijacked. The hashtag AskJPM was intended to allow users to ask experienced banker Jimmy Lee questions. This tactic proved to be counterproductive as users saw an opportunity to jeer insults and jokes at the company. Other famous hashtag hijacks include McDonald's, MuckD Stories, where users instead of posting good news stories, they posted all their bad experiences on there. Then there was Waitrose's Waitrose Reasons hashtag, where users were requested to post why they shopped at the supermarket chain, but instead, visitors posted funny, snobbish tweets such as, Do I shop at Waitrose? Don't be silly, I have servants to do that for me. According to the National Survey of Sexual Attitudes and Lifestyle, Britons have had less sex over the past decade because they are too stressed from being overworked. The study found that on average people aged 16 to 44 have sex less than five times a month, compared to figures of 6.3 times a month in the last survey completed in 2000. It is thought that the decline may be in part due to the current commercial downturn and are calling it the recession impact. Now, a quick rundown on who is hiring and firing. The Edinburgh Wool and Mill Group, one of the largest high street shop operators in the UK, is set to create 1,100 new jobs following a rise in profits after taking peacocks out of administration in 2012. Nestlé is set to create 1,900 youth employment opportunities over the next three years. Barclays will cut 1,700 jobs across the UK following a cultural change in the use of technology. Middlesbrough Council is set to axe 600 jobs in an attempt to save 22 million. And BAE could cut more than 1,000 jobs across three UK shipyards in the next 12 months. Well, that's all from me this month. Have a very Merry Christmas and we hope to see you in the new year. I'm Susie Taylor speaking for Recruiter TV, brought to you by the Technology in Recruitment Alliance and sponsored by Smart Recruit Online, CV Library and AppsGo. If you have enjoyed listening today, don't forget to leave comments and hit the subscribe button.